What's going on everybody? Welcome to GBC TV. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified. You know the question is, can Senegal win the World Cup? You know, 2002 World Cup Korea. Senegal making their debut at the World Cup stage. Putting in a difficult group. Nobody expects nothing of Senegal except to come out for the opening match against France, you know, and represent their nation and be on the world stage. Senegal came out, you know, France had the likes of Henri, David Trezeguet, you know, Lilian Turam, Marcel, Fabian Barthez, DJ Deschamps. You know, all these players were the returning players from the 1998 World Cup squad that had previously won the World Cup. Opening match. You know, David Trezeguet hit the bar. You know, I seen the match live as a kid. Opening match, you know everybody watching the game. I seen the match live. You know, opening match at the World Cup, everybody is locked in. France, the returning champion, Senegal led by Bruno Metsu. The game started well for France. Live, you know, Trezeguet hit the bar. Boom! Henry and Trezeguet had a lot of opportunities. They just couldn't capitalize. You know, the Senegalese player went for a challenge, stole the ball, gave it to El Hayes Juf. What a beautiful player, you know. Give it to El Hayes Juf. El Hayes Juf caught it in the box. Bartez and the defender had some problems. Then Papa Buba Dio. What a beautiful name! Papa Buba Dio. Beg the goal. Not a beautiful goal, but a statement goal. Next game against Denmark, they drew 1-1. Diaw scored the goal. Then after that, against Uruguay, a wild match, they drew. Then that was enough for them to qualify for the round of 16, you know, where they meet Sweden. You know, the Senegalese teams was right now. Everybody was rooting for the Senegalese team. I was rooting for the Senegalese team. I became an El Haidu fan. You know, El Haidu went on to play for Bolton. You know, that's the furthest I could remember. He was balling, but you know, his personality is too strong. And then wanted to play Sweden. This Sweden, you know, in the 107th minute, you know, in the next match, to go on to the quarterfinals facing Turkey. You know, they went on to extra time against Turkey, but in the 97th minute, you know, Senegalese fans' heart was broken. Senegalese I got knocked out at the quarterfinals by Turkey. You know, 16 years later, back at the World Cup stage, the Lions of Taranga booked their tickets to Russia by beating South Africa 2-0 to top Group D, you know, in African Cup qualifiers. The draw took place, we saw Senegal been placed in Group H alongside Japan, alongside Colombia, and alongside Poland. This coming in this World Cup as a dark horse, you know, just in case if they do good, so everybody can say, yeah, we said that there was the dark horse, but me, I'm predicting Senegal to go far. Senegal have the the potential, you know what I mean, to go further than the team in 98. You know, a lot of talent, you know, all around the field. In attack, they got Sadio Mane alongside Kita Bode and Mba Nyang. That could prove to be a deadly attack for Senegal. Sadio Mane is a game changer. He's pacey, he's fast, he's a good dribbler. You know, the little thing I think he needs to improve on, even when he's at Liverpool, he's scoring, but there's some, like, you know, some opportunities you're like, ah, he should have banged that in. But other than that, they're in great position in attack. Then in midfield, they got ball stoppers, you know what I mean, engines, complete midfielders. And Gay from Irvington. Statistically, you know, if you're an analytic guy, Gay is better than Conte all around. You know, Gay stats prove that he's better than Conte. He played two less matches than Conte, you know what I mean, made 19 more tackles, he blocked 10 more shots than Conte, he created more chances than an attacking third than Conte, he had more clearances and key passes than Conte. So if you're an Atlantic guy, you know what I mean, he's better than Conte. So that midfield is strong, then the back four is led by General Khalidou Koulibaly, who plays for Napoli. His position in his own point, great at one-on-ones, successful in aerial duels, tall, strong, great with the ball at his feet, good enough passing. Senegal have the potential to go further in the World Cup than 2002. They second time in the World Cup. I'm predicting for them to make some noise. I think they could get to the quarterfinals again. If the cards is played right, if Senegal's head is in it, if Sadio Mane is not injured, you know, if Kita Bali keep progressing, if Eber and Young, you know what I mean, stay in shape, you know what I mean, and actually keep begging the goals, Got no worries about Gay Kuyate. You know what I mean? They're in one of the worst teams, Everton and I think West Ham. 
and them boys could be inserted into any top four teams in the Premier League or around Europe and they'll succeed, you know. Yeah, I really rate him high. I think he's better than Kante personally. He's playing for a worse side and he's better. He's being Kante at everything, you know what I mean? Just to show you that Senegal got an all-around squad. So going into this World Cup, I'm rooting for Senegal. You know, I'm rooting for all 32 teams, baby. Y'all love winners. You dig that? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified. Put your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, uh.